What is going on, everyone? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture, and here we are counting down five through one of the top 10 comics to invest in before Multiverse of Madness hits the big screen. I know I am absolutely excited for this movie that's less than a year away. Before we get into the books, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please take some time to do so. Check out all the awesome links below, including how to become a member of the channel, either via Patreon or by YouTube by clicking that join button below. I also want to give a big shout out and thank you to today's sponsor, the Otis app. We're going to talk about a couple of books, and then I'm going to take a couple minutes in the middle of the video to talk about the Otis app. I think you all might want to hear what I have to say. Also, I want to give a big shout out to all of my current Patreon and YouTube members. I'm going to give you all a big shout out at the end of the video. So let's talk about these books. I broke this down into a two-part video series. If you haven't seen the first part where we counted down 10 through 6, I highly recommend you go check that out. This is the criteria for these books. The lower we count down, the hotter these books are going to be. We're going to look at current fair market value. We're going to look at fair market value from five years ago. And those books that have gotten hottest are going to be down to the bottom. Can't wait to get to number one. So with that being said, let's get in to number five on the list. And that is Avengers number 187. This is the origin of the Darkhold. Since WandaVision, this book has absolutely been hot. So what is this? Origin of the Darkhold, but also <laughs> some argue that 187 to be the first full appearance of Cthon rather than one. 86. Now, I'm not going to get into that whole debate and argument here, whether you want to call it a first full or, or not. Again, I'm not having that. Bottom line, it's a very, very key book when we're considering what's been going on in the MCU with the Darkhold, with Wanda, and with the possibility of Cthon showing up in the MCU playing a role in this. All right, let's look at these numbers. A current CGC 9.8 fair market value is sitting at about $248. Five years ago, it was sitting at about $75. That's a 231% increase in value. That is huge. Now, keep in mind, everyone, fair market values are a moving number. Fair market value is still basically a rough average, and it can change from day to day, from week to week, depending on what the market is doing. Obviously, this book's been hot. All right, let's look at average raw. Average raw sale of this book sitting at about $20. Now, again, I always explain this. What's in, what's average raw mean? It means that you accumulate every raw book that's selling on the market, no matter the grade, and you add up all the sales and divide it by how many books sold, and that gives you an average. So this doesn't pertain to a specific grade. I had people going in my comment section saying, you're your raw numbers are way off. No, they're not. This is factual data that I'm using. They are accurate. So when average raw is not specific to a grade, it's an estimated average of everything that's been sold. All right. So it basically means that you could probably find some grade of this book raw for that $20 mark. A high raw sale has sold for $40. So keep that in mind. Again, look, I personally feel that Cthon can definitely show up in the MCU. We didn't get a reveal to uh, this, this bigger player for what was going on in WandaVision. I still think that that can happen. The Multiverse of Madness is going to open up a lot of this stuff, and we shall see. Before I move on to book number four, everyone, I want to make a statement, as I always do. I'm not here to tell you to go buy these books, all right? I'm here to present facts about what the books are doing on the market. I'm supplying the data for what they're doing on the market. And I'm here to also give you my personal opinion. You do what you want to do with that information. If you don't have love for these books, if you're not willing to take the risk in terms of the investments, don't buy the books. But if you are, then whatever makes you happy, I am all for. All right, let's get into book number four. This is Marvel Chillers. Number one, this is the first appearance of the other who later found to be Cthon. So the other, Cthon, right? Same person. All right. And what do we know about the other slash Cthon? He is the writer of the Darkhold. So again, the Darkhold was introduced in WandaVision. So much at play here, right? 
This is also the first appearance of Modred the Mystic. So another, you know, first appearance that could be a, a, a good first appearance to spec on. Let's look at what this book has been doing on the market. Uh, this is a current 9.4 CGC fair market value, sitting at $223. Five years ago in a 9.4, it was only selling for about $47. That is a 374% increase. Wow. I told you all, as we get down lower in the list, these books are getting hotter and hotter. Those percent increases are going to be getting bigger and bigger. All right, let's look at what these raw books are doing. Average raw sitting at about $32. High raw has sold for $100. I picked up I picked up a mid-grade of this book maybe a, a, a couple months ago. It was after or during WandaVision. And I think I picked it up for about that that thirty dollar mark. So and it was a nice it was a nice mid grade. So I, I'm I'm definitely happy with it. All right, we have three more books to go. But before we get in to the top three books, I want to take just two minutes to talk about today's sponsor, the Otis app. All right, for those that don't know what the Otis app is, the Otis app is a stock market for cultural assets where almost anyone, including you and me, can buy and sell shares of rare collectibles, sneakers, and art. And for all of us comic book lovers, comic books. They have over 100 rare items to choose from and they add new assets every single day. I'm going to break down how the investments work in just a minute, but how it works, what you need to do first and foremost is you need to download the app and sign up for free to follow the weekly drops, buy shares of the latest drops directly from Otis, or you can buy shares from past drops from other Otis members. You can then earn potential return by selling your shares to other Otis members or if Otis sells the underlying asset for more than the price at which you bought your shares from, that's how you can get those potential gains. So... For all of us that are here for comic books, we're gonna scroll through these and look at what they've been doing as an investment on the market. We're bringing up Amazing Spider-Man 129. All right, this is a six month trend right here. You can see that there's been 32% growth. Right now you can get a share at $33. That is higher than it was six months ago. They give details for each listing, including investment information, and of course, recent news. If there's speculation on the comic book, you could dive into what's been going on with the MCU or Marvel Studios. We're gonna bring up another one, Fantastic Four number 52. Uh, this is at $52 a share, a growth of 116% over the last six months. That's huge. So again, going into the details, it gives you history of the books. But the thing that I love right here, recent news, it talks about what's going on with the upcoming Black Panther movie. We know that speculation has been driving these books up more and more. So again, you saw how you could gain potential returns on your investments when you're buying shares. Now, again, if you want to sign up, you can get your first share for free when you sign up with the link below. So all you got to do is go click that link, sign up, and you will get your first share for free. Terms do apply, but it's definitely worth checking out. And again, I got to give a big Shout out and thank you to the Otis app for sponsoring this video today. All right. I know I'm excited for the top three here. So let's get in to number three on the list. And that is, hey, Avengers 186. We just talked about 187. Here is 186. So this is the first appearance of Cthon as Cthon. We saw him as the other. This is the first appearance as Cthon and, and Magda who is the, the mother of Scarlet Witch. This continues the origin of Scarlet Witch. So, you know, when it comes to the origin of, of the character, I don't know how that's going to play out in the MCU. I do believe that it is going to be brought to the attention that Quicksilver and Wanda were mutants all along. That's my hunch. I know it's not just my hunch. A lot of people have that hunch. We shall see. We'll see how that works. But again... Simply because of the first appearance of Cthon, this book has gotten hot ever since uh, the speculation that this character might show up in WandaVision. But here we are again. This character might show up in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. We shall see. Let's look at these numbers. Current 9.4. CGC. Fair market value. Sitting at about $405. Five years ago, $69. That's a four. 
increase. I'm telling you, this book is hot. Average raw, $39. A high raw sold for $228. That's absolutely just mind-blowing. I remember when you can get this book in a decent high grade, you know, for, for 10 bucks. No longer are those days. If we don't see a, a, a Cathon in the MCU in the near future, it could cool off. Uh, I absolutely don't believe it's going to cool out that much where we're going to even see it be close to what it could have been going for a few years ago. You know how it is with these books. Um, and these are uh, solid Bronze Age books regardless. So I always talk about this outside of movie hype. These are still good books that have potential to continue to increase over that long term, even if we see ebb and flow and cool off periods in between there. That's the sign of a healthy market. All right, two more books coming in. At number two is West Coast Avengers number 56, the first full appearance of the Dark Scarlet Witch. Okay, I talked about this book, I believe, even before WandaVision came out. And uh, it, it's just, it's been one that you can find in bargain bins. Not any longer. Let's look at what these numbers have been doing. A current 9.8 CGC fair market value sitting at about $100. Still not bad. Uh, five years ago, though, there, and there was only one sale on the census, 10 bucks. A 9.8 CGC of this book sold for $10 five years ago. That's not even the cost of the slab. It's just mind-blowing, Okay. What is that in terms of uh, 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 increase in value? 900%. That's absolutely insane. Now, let's look at the, the raw. The average raw is sitting at around $19. It is an early 90s book, so you could probably find a decent higher grade for around that price still. A uh, high raw did sell for $45, so you're probably going to assume that uh, this high raw probably... Uh, you know, somebody buying it thought, I could buy this, send it off to CGC and get a 9.8, right? So look, if you could find this book in, in a high grade for under that $20 mark, I, I think it's a decent investment because this, again, I mean, we're already seeing Dark Scarlet. Are they going to specifically tie in the storyline? I don't know. I don't have those facts. But I will tell you this without going into too much, well, Maybe I'll hold it for, for book number one, but uh, there there's a lot of things that went on in this West Coast Avengers run during these numbers, during these, this story arc, that there's a lot of Easter eggs and hints to, okay? And again, nothing confirmed, nothing fact. I'm just sitting here playing detective, putting all the pieces together. We shall see. But with that being said, let's show off the number one book on the list, everyone. Are we ready? It is West Coast Avengers number 61. Okay, okay, look, there's a lot going on with this book. Let me just read what's going on. First appearance of the Timekeepers in Cameo, right? And we all know that this book got hot specifically because of the Loki show. But you know what's really funny, and this goes back to what I was saying about book number two on the list. This also ties in to Wanda and what's going on with Wanda. Let's look at what else is going on in this book. It's the origin of Immortus. Hmm. It also reveals Wanda's connection to the Nexus. And we had a Nexus Easter egg in the Nexus uh, little commercial spot for the WandaVision show. There was a lot going on here and I'm not gonna give too much away. And again, this is all speculation, but put the pieces together. The Nexus, all right? We have the Timekeepers being introduced in Loki. And we know in the comic books that the Timekeepers are uh, uh, play hand-in-hand -hand with the Mortis. Uh, we got a multiverse opening up. Plus, we have time travel opening up. All these things play in to a Mortis. And that's all I'm going to say. If you want more information on what... I'm doing dropping the Immortus name over and over again. I encourage you to read the books or go do some wiki, wiki searches, right? And, and do a little educating on your own because I don't want to give too many spoilers away here. But I'm really, really excited about this because I absolutely think um, Immortus is going to be a player in the MCU in the near future. Let's look at these numbers. Okay, so 
This book, number one on our list, I had to do things a little different because there's no CGC sales data. So what that means, one, is that, you know, nobody was really looking at this book to go get slab prior to a, a couple months ago, right? But look at these raw numbers, all right? Your average raw pre Loki trailer was sitting at about $2. Your average current raw, post Loki, of course, 40 bucks. So when it comes to the average raw, that's how I base the over or under. It's up 1,900%. That's a 1,900% increase. That's one of the largest percent increases I've seen in any book since paying attention to the market over the last couple of years. And wow, is that something. Now, again, I, I can't wait to see what this book is going to do once we start seeing 9.8s hit the market and start being sold, especially if something, we know something's going on in Loki with the timekeepers, but if something continues to go on in the multiverse of madness with as it correlates to Wanda, and if it correlates to Immortus, oh my goodness, this book could do wonders, man. I'm telling you, I can't wait. You know, we've seen, we recently saw, you know, Ghost Rider 28, the first cameo appearance of the Midnight Suns, in a 9.8 shoot above $500 on, on merely rumor, but it was rumor that was, uh, it was, uh, broadcasted as fact. So take that with a grain of salt, but you had the Bishop's first appearance, uncanny 282 getting hot, uh, simply because of rumor, because, oh, we were seeing time travel. We know X-Men's coming. Maybe they'll do Bishop. That 9.8 started selling for over $500. We are seeing these early 90s books gain value, especially in those CGC 9.8s. So I'm excited about this book. And for those that may have watched this top 10 say, you know, what about what about the big books? You know, what about the ones that are already the big keys that are selling for thousands of dollars? I like to do two things. One, I like to talk about books that are kind of under the radar, right? Uh, these books are, are mostly affordable to the average collector, but the one thing that they all have in common is I did a lot of research to say that all of these books and the characters and the storylines that are going on in these books, there's something there that can absolutely come into play in the MCU, all right? So with that being said, let me know what you all thought of the books in the comments below. Let me know how many you have in your collection. Let me know if you guys are hunting or on the hunt for some of these books. And let me know if there's any other books that you did or wanted to see on this top 10 list. But before we go, I always got to give a shout out to all the members of my channel. First and foremost, to my Patreon members. I appreciate you all each and every month. You guys support me day in and day out. You help me be able to do this channel and provide this content for you all seven days a week, seven days a week. So thank you all so, so much. Big shout out to new uh, patron member uh, over the last week, Griffin. Thank you for hopping on board and to all of you uh, others. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. For those watching, if you're interested in possibly supporting via Patreon and learning about the perks that you get, check out the Patreon link. It is below in the description. And a big shout out to my YouTube members. Uh, another uh, new you, uh, YouTube member as of this week, Reaper Scoobs. Thank you so much for signing up as a member. If you want to know the perks for uh, my YouTube memberships, check out the join button below if you all are interested. But to all of my viewers and all of my subscribers, thank you all so, so much for being here every single day. Leave some comments below. And again, if you aren't subscribed, please take some time to do so. Thank you so much for watching. And again, big shout out to today's sponsor, the Otis app. Be well, and until next time.